What is up you guys and welcome back to the Epic Polls channel. Today we are going to be cracking into eight of these new Walgreens mystery boxes with a chance at a EX Holland Phantoms packs. So make sure you guys are subbed up and if you're excited for the video, smash that like button. We got our first Walgreens mystery box here. We're going to be cracking into all eight of these today. Each box contains two booster packs, one mystery item, and one online code card. They show some burning shadows and breakpoint on the back. And on the front, they got evolutions and the EX Holland Phantoms pack seated one in, one ten. in 10. So we're gonna be looking for those mystery packs and see if these Walgreens mystery boxes are worth the cost. They do run, I believe, $13.99 per box. And we are going to see what kind of packs we can get out of here. If you guys are excited for today's video, make sure you get down there. Smash that like button for us. Here we go. The first box opened up here. Starting off, we got that code card. Looks like a sun and moon. And first pack in here, sun and moon base. And ooh, another, another sun, sun and moon base. So I wouldn't count that as a win. Metagross coin inside. So there is the first pack right there. Two sun and moon base cards. I think we'll go ahead and crack all the boxes open and then we'll open all the packs up at the end of the video once we tally them up and see which ones we can get. Have you guys seen these mystery boxes at any of your Walgreens yet? They've been sitting in a big red spring display. So make sure you guys go and check your Walgreens out if you guys are interested in opening up some of these. Oh, another, another sun, sun and moon, moon base. And, and another and sun another and moon sun base. Moon. Wait, and there's another pack. Is that evolutions? Oh, oh and we got an evolutions nice. pack. All right, we will definitely take that. Got a code card, and then looks like your mystery card was just a reverse hollow clang. clang. But one evolutions nice. pack on the board, not bad at all. Definitely a win if we pull an evolutions pack out of here. Still haven't pulled that reverse Zard from evolutions, but gotta love any pack that has a chance for that Zard. So let's see what is in this next one here. Sun and Moon, so it looks like we're probably gonna end up with a lot of Sun and Moon base. Hopefully we can see some Burning Shadows. Evolutions code card, another, another Metagross, Metagross coin. coin. So nothing coming out of that one. We still got five more to go, so hopefully we can get some more Mystery Packs. So I think the Mystery Pack will be a third booster, mm -hmm. back, booster pack inside of there. So I think you're gonna get two booster packs no matter what, and then you may get a mystery pack as well but they do say seated one in ten we only have eight here one mystery pack so far so we'll see if we can get another one sun and moon sun and, sun and moon and sun and moon code, code card there and, and another metagross coin another metagross coin let's get into this next one hopefully we can get some other packs Besides the Sun and Moon base packs, definitely want to see some big hits. See if these mystery boxes are going to be worth it. Sun and Moon and Sun, sun and, and moon. moon. So there is again just two Sun and Moon packs. Another code there. Another Metagross coin. So, so far, nothing too big. Just one Evolutions pack, which is not bad. But definitely nothing compared to pulling out like an EX Holland Phantoms pack, uh, which is probably not going to happen. I would be absolutely amazed if we were able to pull out one of those packs inside these mystery boxes. But we do got a couple more left. And more sun and moon. More sun and moon. Code card. And Metagross coin is in there. Another Metagross. So two more here so far. Nothing but Sun and Moon. Hoping to at least see some Burning Shadows or some Breakpoint as well. 
It'd be at least fun to get a couple different packs besides nothing but Sun and Moon. Uh, let's check this one. Sun and Moon. The code card. And the Metagross coin. So only one left to open up here. Then we're going to crack into all these Sun and Moon packs. And then we'll crack into that Evolutions pack. See if we can pull out a Zard code card. I got a card instead of a coin. Of course, Reverse. it's a Joltic, Joltic Common. Two more, and two sun, more and sun and Moon. And that is it. From eight of those mystery packs, we only got one Evolution. So it is definitely hard to say if those are really worth the money or not. I'll leave that up to you guys, but drop a comment down below. Let us know what do you guys think of these spring Walgreens mystery packs. Are they worth it or are they not worth it? To us, they don't really seem worth it so far. We got Toracat, Crushing Hammer, Poliwhirl, Picapec, Eevee, Psyduck, Spiro, Dratini, Reverse Hariyama, and a non hollow cloister for the first pack there is the code on that pack right there another sun and moon pack start off with a metal energy dragon air golbat pokemon catcher morlul skarmory polywag sandy ghast eevee reverse hollow wingo and a regular Decidueye. Decidueye. next pack up i'm not even sure what the big chase cards are in sun and moon base but it definitely would be nice to at least get some ultra rare hits since we didn't get much luck in the pack pulling from these mystery boxes dratini cutie fly chin chow morlul skarmory a reverse dragon air and ooh two cannon non hollow so not a great pull right there. Definitely don't think these mystery packs are worth the price. I mean, we got eight. They gave us one mystery pack, and it's just an Evolutions. Now, getting an Evolutions is definitely a win on the box. But for all eight of the boxes, I don't know if one Evolution pack's really a win. Start off with a Fighting Energy, Energy Retrieval, Colsorola, Trumbeak, Zubat, Shelter, Young Goose, Paris, Caterpie, Reverse Hollow Great Ball, regular Stout Wind. If you guys are able to come across some of these mystery boxes, it might be worth just keeping it sealed up. These things always go way up in price and they always sell out super fast. So if you hold on to them for a couple of months, you could probably sell them. Code card stuff in the pack there. Four to the front. We do got a fairy energy, but if you hold on to them for a couple of months, they're surely going to go up in value, and you could probably make a pretty good turnaround on them. Probably better odds than trying to pull out a Holland Phantom. So we got a Reverse Snubble and Ooh, Ooh, Lapras GX. There you go, a little Lapras GX. We'll take that for our first hit of the day for Sun and Moon. Definitely make it on the board. Start off with a Darkest Energy. Torcat, Crushing Hammer, Poliwhirl, Carvana, Zubat, Popeleo, Togedomaru, Shelter, Reverse Hollow Shelter, and the regular rare, Cosmo Worms. Oh, plenty of packs left to go here for Sun and Moon. Just the base set, not even a Burning Shadows or a Breakpoint pack coming out of these boxes. Fire pack. Do got a Fire Pack though, so let's see if it can bring some heat for us lillipup on sweet psyduck litten cosmog a reverse lily and a non-hollow decidueye so the fire pack not bringing any heat today Ooh, fire pack back to back one. fire packs lima maybe Dragon this one will have the heat got a Dutini, lily pup on sweet psyduck reverse hollow wishy-washy and a Ooh, hollow, a hollow arcanine, arcanine. Not too bad, at least a hollow hit. Bringing some fire Pokemon, so I guess that can count as some heat. Next pack here. One, two, three, four to the front. We got a Lightning Energy Stinny, Big Molasada, Hypno, Lillipup, Paris, Firo, Litten, 
Young Goose, Reverse Hollow Drowsy, and Ooh, Hollow, Hollow Crobat. Crobat. So not too bad. Another Hollow hit. One GX card so far. Seven packs left to go. So still got a pretty fair amount. Still mad we didn't get any Burning Shadows. I don't think I'm gonna let that one go. Fairy Energy, a Nest Ball, Rotom Dex, Charge a Bug, Pharaoh, Grubbin, Drowsy, Crab Roller, Sandow, Reverse Hall, Reverse Hall Snubble, and a regular rare, Masquerin. Keep this rolling with yet another Sun and Moon. Feels like we're opening a booster box of Sun and Moon base. Got a Grass Energy, Rare Candy, Wishy Washy, Hurtier, Rognarola, Alolan Rattata, Chinchu, Paris, Poliwag, a Reverse Cosmog, and a non-hollow Golduck. And the code, boom, right there. The Decidui pack. See if we can get another GX or a Full Art. Hopefully. Start off with a Lightning Energy, Rot Rotom Dex, the Simeon, Pow, Sandy Gast, Eevee, Crab Brawler, Mirany, Alolan Diglett, Reverse Hollow Lily. Oh, Ooh, a Soul Galeo GX, not too bad. Take another GX hit just as we ask for it, and Sun and Moon goes and delivers. Pretty cool artwork. Brilliant Stars is almost upon us. So excited for that set to finally come out. We are going to be getting some pre release kits for it. So make sure you guys are subbed up and stay tuned through this weekend because we are definitely going to be opening some brilliant stars this weekend. A reverse hollow palisand and another two cannon. Got two codes. And next one. Three packs left. See if we can get a full R out of here. Start off with a Dark Energy, Dragonair, Golbat, Pokemon Catcher, Cutifly, Chinchou, Morlau, Skarmory, Caterpie, Reverse Hall Surskit, Regular Beware. Rare, Beware. All right, let's go. Another Ultra Rare. Spinda, Arachnid, Rare Candy, Sandy Gas, Rognarola, Cosmog, Fomantis, Alolan Grimer, Reverse Rebombi, and oh, non hollow Butterfree. Butterfree. Not going to speak that one into existence. Start off with a Lightning Energy, Rainbow Energy, Trumbeak, Hypno, Togamaru, Stufel, Dupider, Bond Sweet. Lily Pup, Reverse Hall Decidui. Oh, oh a Gordon Rotom go. Dex. Finally. So, some last pack <laughs> oh magic pulling out the gold secret that rare from Sun and Moon. So all in all, we ended up with a pretty decent hit there. Quite a bit off center, but I'm not going to complain. A secret rare gold Rotom Dex. That is a Finally, pretty something. epic pull right there and a nice way to end off those Sun and Moon packs. But we do have this Evolutions pack here, just one. So I think we should do a little coin flip and see who's going to open it. So I'll let you pick heads Tails or never tails. fails. Tails he tails goes for. Is. Tails, tails never it is. fails. All right. All right, crack that Evolutions. Let's see if we can get a Zard. You had some hot hands pulling out the gold. So hopefully you can keep those hot hands going and crack out something good from this Evolutions pack. The only mystery pack we got from eight mystery boxes. So hopefully it's going to be good. I forgot how to open them. I don't know. Just hide it. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Boom. Three to the front. Yep. Start off with a energy retrieval. Blastoise Spirit Link. Switch. Weedle. Voltorb. Poliwag. Ghastly. Magnemite. Reverse Hollow Brock's, Brock's Grit. Grit. And oh. a Dugong, like a typical Man. Evolutions pack. Okay, so that was the final pack of the wow. opening. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you smash that like button if you did. And let's take a look at the epic pulls from today. First up, we got that Solgaleo GX 
a nice GX hit. And then we also pulled out the Lapras GX, so another decent hit as well. And of course, we got to give the epic pull of the day to that golden Rotom Dex coming out of our last pack with that last pack magic. If you guys enjoyed the video, please smash that like button for us. Don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already. Turn on those notifications, and we will see you guys tomorrow with some brilliant stars.